sky toward left, and that baby is gone. Gone. And I mean gone. It's probably rolling down the street right now in downtown Houston. You talk about liftoff, and we are in Houston. Lift off on a hanging curveball and cut free breakfast. I, even Feldman's going to watch to see how far it goes. I do not think that came down. I don't either. I think it is his first time. Of I think that Billy Butler home run is uh, still traveling. Welcome to your Tuesday, April 14th, 2015 edition of um, FanDuel M MLB Preview. I had a solid... Night last night, a um, couple of seven dollar uh, wins, uh, thirty three of five seventy four, and another one. I was in about the top five percent. And um, had a um, had uh, three home runs. That's that's one of the recipes. Um, that's part of it. Um, Billy Butler has highlighted there. There's um, three RBIs on the night. Uh, Jorge Solar, a huge, the, the wind, um, I don't know if the wind was blowing out at Wrigley, but he had a huge night. Two home runs, four RBIs. And then uh, going with some of the... Diaz, a nice little bit of everything. Stole a base. There's one. He actually got caught stealing, too. Uh, I would have liked to have uh, another. Uh, he's a nice speed option at the top of the um, Orioles lineup. Uh, Blue Jays uh, got held to two hits um, against uh, Tampa. So that game was not what I thought. Uh, I wanted to get her, um, Joey Bats in there, and I'm glad I didn't. Uh, Kiermaier didn't do much in that game. Not a lot of offense, uh, uncharacteristically for the Toronto uh, home opener. Uh, look at some of the other. Uh, Nelson Cruz is suddenly on a tear. He had a two home run night. Uh, see, Machado actually did something. Uh, um, Adam Jones. Adam Jones continues to. Uh, yeah, Pinedo had to start for the Yankees, so that, that turned out to be a pretty... Oh, he uh, got the win. He uh, got the win and got nine strikeouts. Uh, Cashnier struck out nine as well. A lot of, uh, a lot of people had Cashnier, 33.4%. He was uh, the top-owned pitch, uh, pitcher. He was uh, done in with uh, four unearned runs in the second inning. Other than that, he settled down. It was... Uh, a solid outing uh, in the earlier earlier action on Monday. Uh, the natives are getting I uh, got the reports from uh, those who attended at Target Field. The natives are uh, getting restless in the Twin Cities. Uh, the Twins were devoured by uh, by the Royals, uh, twelve three, uh, and um, the Royals are on a historic. Uh, Run. They are the first American League team, as in ever, 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 who have not only won their first seven games, but uh, also won the first seven by two runs or more. There are six National League teams that have achieved that, but the Royals are the first them. The Yankees have never done it, or any other American League team, so... Uh, the Royals got their name on the record book. And in the other early action, uh, the Nationals were in Boston, and it was all about Mookie Betts, as you can see. Two for four, four RBIs, a home run, a walk, two stolen bases. Oh, and he did this. First pitch swing, a high deep drive in the right center field. That one headed toward the bullpen. Mookie Betts is back. He's at the wall, leaping. Oh, he caught it! He caught it! He took it back! What a tremendous play by Mookie Betts. Bryce Harper, welcome to Fenway Park. And he hit that ball. He thought that ball was gone. It was out of the ballpark. It was into the Red Sox bullpen. Mookie leaping backward 
made a splendid catch, and then his left elbow, when he raised his glove on that left hand, went slamming into the top of that bullpen wall, and what a play. Yeah, Bryce Harper might want to think twice about uh, signing with uh, Boston as a free agent because that's where left-handed home runs go to die, right there in front of that bullpen. I didn't see the cop there celebrating, but uh, anyways, I can't complain about 48.5 day. One little hiccup I made, uh, and... Uh, before the deadline, the Dodgers did actually uh, have their lineup, so I knew it was trouble when only 1.7% had Jimmy Rollins. Uh, he got the night off, came on as a pinch hitter, defensive replacement in the seventh inning, got a couple uh, at-bats in. So, uh, but, uh, uh, and before I get to uh, today's lineup, a uh, little shout-out to Scott Blau. Um, as you can see here, he he cashed in last night. He had a number that uh, 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 he got home in uh, in basketball. I scored 312 myself, but uh, Chris Paul didn't quite do enough for me. Uh, I was expecting him to do more in the fourth quarter, but anyway, uh, getting to Today, I mean, a nice schedule for uh, for Tuesday. I'll show you what I got. It's a 12-game uh, primetime schedule. A couple of you know, a uh, few teams will be taking the day off after they hosted home openers uh, yesterday. Um, I always like checking the weather. Uh, looks like a little bit of stuff in the East Coast. Uh, it looks like they'll get it in Baltimore. It's, it's just a guess there. Uh, Atlanta, slight chance. Of, is that anything new for Atlanta? Uh, Houston, but they got the roof. So Butler might not be able to hit one completely out. So... Uh, it just hit the glass panel like uh, Pujols in the LCS that one year. But uh, anyway, out of the pitchers, uh, I think, you know what, uh, I think Carrasco will be worth the, you know, the Cleveland people. I know they rave about him. He was absolutely uh Saw what he did in his first start. He uh, he struck out ten, walked uh, walked one, uh, six plus shutout innings. So nice home game against the White Sox, who have been scuffling in the early going. So I'm going to stick him in there. And then uh, I'm going out a little out of order, uh, but before. The wind's supposed to be blowing a little bit off the lake at Wrigley, but uh, I don't know, I'm seeing all the construction of that out there, I'm wondering if uh, all of that is blocking, uh, keeping the wind from blowing in a little bit, hating the hitters a little. So before, uh, before his price goes up, they haven't had a chance to uh, put it up yet, but uh, Soler, I, I got him in there. Uh, My catcher, uh, and on the Rollins thing, uh, it, 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 it's something, uh, it's just a learning thing. Uh, the, at least the Dodgers put in their uh, lineup before the 6 o'clock deadline, even though their, uh, their game is usually three or three and a half hours away by that point. So uh, just go on... Uh, Twitter, look up the lineup or whatever sources you may have. They should be available uh, uh, before the deadline. I always also look out. I, I like to do a roll call on players, and I'll just like look up their names on Twitter. Be a little careful on that because the good old Fishers, you know, P H I S H I N G, they are out there. They'll cite a fake injury and have a link uh, 
that you don't want to uh, click on to. So a little bit of warning there. So yeah, that, that nonsense is there too. But uh, uh, no, this is breaking. I did not... Uh, I, I wanted Stephen Folk then, but he is day to day. He rolled his ankles, so we are going to have. I'm look for news on that uh, during the day, so I will have to go to a different. Uh, let's just put Derek Norris in. He's coming off an 0 for 4, though, but he's cheap. I don't want to uh, spend much on a catcher tonight, at least. Uh, McCann's out there. McCann had a nice game. Uh, yep, he's coming off a two um, uh, home run and three runs card, 8.25. Uh, he is, I think, is he going on? Uh, he's going against a righty. That's a possibility there. So think of McCann as well. Uh, my first baseman, uh, Abreu, you yeah. know. Hey, I'm hoping Carrasco strikes him out a couple times, actually. Um, so we'll go through, uh, remember, no weather concerns. So uh, kind of, uh, yeah, I'll give Butler another run. I'll dig into that well one more time. Uh, second baseman, uh, D. Gordon, up a couple hundred more. Uh, so okay, I'm stacking up on uh, Houston's got kind of a inexperienced uh, pitcher out there. Uh, actually, it's Peacock. Peacock's going to be the uh, Houston starter tonight. So thought I saw someone else. Maybe he got moved up. Uh, I thought I saw someone else pitching there tonight. Uh, Todd Frazier, uh, let's go. Uh, that Wrigley game one more time. Uh, I'm trying to think. Uh, Iglesias, uh, he took an over. He still got a nice batting average on the year. Uh, I kind of like going with the Detroit players right now if possible. Um, I'll say Ramirez. I think that might just be my uh, somewhat uh, just to get a cheap salary in there. So I'll leave me with uh, 6,800 for my other two outfielders. And uh, if I went with JD Martinez, uh, uh, he also pre actually did something. Uh, he had a second home run of the year. So, with about 3,400, I could get the likes of uh, Starling Marte out to, off to a slow start. Uh, Nelson Cruz is out on the West Coast. Uh, Who are the Dodgers throwing out? Uh, he's got a lefty uh, he huff. Uh, so just for this, we'll, we'll put, um, Nelson Cruz in, uh, and then, uh, Marisnik is actually, uh, off to a, a nice little start, uh, he's had a couple of good games in there, so we'll, we'll put him in there for now. Uh, so I'm going with Carrasco, Norris, Butler, Zobris, Frazier, Jose Ramirez, Solar, Cruz, Maris, Nick. So no real superstars there. But as always, watch the lineup, see who might get a spot start in, uh, get a cheap. Uh, one guy who was huge yesterday, I'll leave you with this, uh, was actually uh, a cowgirl. I, wa I want to be a cowboy, and you can be my cowgirl. He sees action against um, lefties. Uh, he's had a little bit of a platoon situation, and uh, he came up. Um, he had a nice night last night. So uh, good luck to everyone, and uh, I'll talk to you tomorrow.